Hi everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to share with you how to change a color on an image. A viewer had asked me how I changed my colors because she was unable to change her colors on her iPad. So I thought for a minute, I couldn't figure out why she wasn't able to change her colors, but then I realized the video she watched was made several months back before the actual update. So here's my quick tutorial on how to change a color. So I just dropped this little pumpkin in here to use as a reference. Let's just make him bigger so we can see. And as you can see, this pumpkin has one, two, three, five colors. So it has black, pink, orange, and green, and white. If I were to go into the layers panel down here at the bottom, you can see all the layers. Now before you used to be able to tap on any of the images here and you would be able to change the color through here. Now what you have to do is if you want to change the color of that tongue from pink to say red, you have to tap on the, the image you want to change, go down to the bottom where it says edit, go over to the first spot where it says line type. As you can see it's telling me that that particular uh, file is a cut file and it is in the color pink. If I tap that up, a menu comes up, and here's where I can change the color to a red color if I want it. And make sure you hit apply at the top here, so it changes the color. Now I changed my tongue from pink to red. That's how you now change the color. Since I'm on the subject of a few of the new changes on the iPad, let's go over a few of them. Okay, so this image is attached. So if you're in the layers field, I can tap on individual things to do a change to this whole image attached. That doesn't mean it's gonna cut out together. So if you wanted to cut out together, they all have to be the same color, or you could do a printing cut. Now say I wanted this little guy to be a printing cut. I'm just going to make him the size where I know it will fit on a print and cut. I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to flatten him. Once I have flattened him, as you see over in the layers panel, he is now a flattened set. And now it, it changed it from a cut and print. And if I go to make it, there he is as a print and cut. Back to my canvas again. I can still change the colors here from, a pr from it being a print and cut. So say I want to change um, the green on the stem. I can't go over here on the layers panel and find that stem because I have it flattened. So I need to unflatten it. Now I can go to the stem. I can go down here to the edit field. Go to line type where it says, um, the line type says cut and then it says fill, says print and the green. Click that open. And then I'm going to change it to a darker green. Hit apply and it changed it to a darker green. So when it is a print file, you change the color through the fill pattern. If it is a cut file, you change the color through the line type. Now, also note that you cannot do a pattern on your iPad. So if you wanted to put a pattern in that leaf or a pattern on your pumpkin, you would have to do that on your computer. So they are not able to do that on an iPad yet. Okay. For the purposes of the video to show my viewer how to change colors, I'm going to actually drop in the image that I was working on in that particular video. So I'm going to go to the upload, uh, open my uploaded images, scroll down to find, and bring up my awesome. If I go into my layers panel, this is one layer, but what I had did is I had made it two objects, so it was two layers, and changed the background color. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to duplicate it. If you want to see that video, I'll have the link below. 
and then I'm going to go to hide contour scroll in I'm going to just remove the background and that part and the center here okay now what I did in the other video is I tapped on over here in the layers and I was able to change the color through here. But I have to go down here to the edit, change it in the line type to whatever color I want that to be. So there's my inside and my outside I can keep black or I can also change my outside color. So that's how you change the colors. Actually, you know what? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. I resized it. I do want to go in here. Go to high contour. And edit that out. And that. Okay. That's the way I want it. There you go. So that's how you change colors. You can no longer do it over here in the layers panel. It's down in your edit panel down at the bottom under line type. Or if it's a print and cut, it will be on your fill box. Thank you for watching.